what's up guys welcome to this episode of Thailand tactics obviously today I'm not in my normal scene I'm actually doing a collaboration in this video uh, with another channel called golden creations I will leave a link for it so you can check it out but what we're doing is we're trying to start this new uh, challenge called YouTube crossover challenge basically what this is is if you're a youtuber or a creator basically you take over the activities that somebody else does on their channel and vice versa so today I'm gonna be uh, taking on a crafting challenge obviously it's still gonna have a fishing twist to it um, because the golden creations channel is about crafting and creating things so today I'm gonna be attempting to make my own lure that I'm gonna be uh, trying to use and catch something with later so let's dive right into it guys and let's see how it turns out alright guys so I'm actually wearing these Texas Rangers gloves because basically what I'm gonna be trying to use today is hog glue and the reason I'm using it is because it's gonna be a little bit easier to cut and sort of mold or at least I'm hoping I've, I've never actually made my own lure this way but we're gonna be using glue sticks and um, basically I'm not quite sure just exactly how I'm gonna make it I'm kinda just winging it and hoping for the best so I got my exacto knife here I got some uh, I guess some uh, some hemp cord that hopefully will help kind of keep it together. Then I got my glue sticks here, and then in here, obviously I'm not gonna try to make my own hooks, so I got some hooks and some beads to kind of play around with here. So that's what we're working with. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to create the main body of the shrimp first. So let's see how this is gonna work exactly keep in mind this is something I've never done before so I have no idea how this is gonna work by the way guys none of this is my supplies obviously I don't keep this in my uh, in any kind of storage this is actually all equipment provided by Golden Creations so just an FYI alright so I'm probably gonna have to let that dry for a bit this is either gonna be really cool or really bad but I guess we'll have to wait and see I guess I'll go ahead and make what I'm kinda imagining is gonna be the tail and all these things I'm gonna trim and kinda workshop a bit so hopefully it doesn't come out too crappy then I'm gonna wanna do some little legs. How many legs do shrimp have actually? I have no idea. I guess we're just gonna guess. Maybe some antennas and maybe some little little things for the eyeballs. That came out really bad. Let's see maybe like that. I have no idea how long this is. Oh, that's definitely not ready yet. So maybe, so I have a couple ideas on how I can do the hooks. Uh, I'm thinking either I can go ahead and put it in like this, lay it down and then layer more on top. And then I kind of also had an idea about adding a treble hook and then maybe adding a treble for, I guess allowing it for a higher hookup ratio. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're gonna wait on the treble hook for now. So let's try this. Oh jeez, that's uh, pretty bad positioning. It's too late. Once you've set this in, it's you're committed. So not really much I can do with that. I'm probably just gonna I'm gonna trim a lot of this off anyway. So I'll just try to trim away from where the hook is. I guess I'm just gonna keep going. Hopefully the fish aren't picky the day I use this. Also, I probably should have added some flakes. Maybe some color flakes. Do you have any flakes? Yeah, let me see some glitter. By the way, guys, I hate glitter. It gets everywhere, and once it's on you, you can't get it off. But I'm going to try to do this for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and start another one. All right, so this color right here is looking pretty saucy right here, so... Probably gonna go ahead and try it. It's really saucy. And then we're gonna layer some more. Who knows, guys? This might actually turn out pretty cool. But we will see. Tap a little bit more. 
Alright, let's add some more layers. This one's actually kind of turning a little bit better. The shape of it's a little bit more easy to work with. Sweet. Put a little bit more on there. Alright, that should be good. I do have two different size, or actually two different weight hooks that I'm trying here. It's kind of more or less closer to where I wanted that. Alright, I'm probably just getting carried away with these little glitters. Pretty cool actually. So as of right now, this looks like nothing. Oh, that was a bad idea. I'm going to take a guess and say we need to let this dry a little bit longer. So these are actually pretty dry. You know, who knows, maybe they'll add a little bit of action to it. We got the legs here. So far, it's not too bad. So I'm trying to cool these off. So maybe it hardens faster and we can keep going with this. That really flattened down. Alright, so let's see if we can let's see if we can pull this off. Yeah we can, okay. So this is what we have so far. Alright guys, so my camera actually just shut off. But uh, all I've done so far is this kind of dried up. Um, I took it off with this. I'm using like a type of wax paper. I took it off and I've kind of cut off a little bit here and I'm trying to figure out exactly what kind of shape I'm going for here. So so that's okay. That's off there. So this is what we have so far. That's kind of what we've been sort of working on here. I do, this is supposed to be the tail here. I mean, probably reshape this a bit. All right, so now let's do this side. Now guys, this is not gonna be proportional. All right guys, so I'm a little bit more secure now. I tape this paper down. All right, so here's the tail. Probably gonna give it a little bit of detail. Alright, so I cut some little segments off of this. Alright, so I try to make some detail here on this tail. Now, I'm actually really liking the color of this here. So I think I'm going to keep going with this one. And kind of uh, try to create this one a little bit better. Alright, so... We now have to cut a portion of the front by the hook. All right, so that's what we got so far. Kind of liking this one a little bit better. So let's continue with this one. We'll probably still end up doing something with this, but I'm really liking this color here, so. I'm trying to figure out how exactly I'm going to add this tail to it. Also, I think the tail is a little thick, but it'd be kind of hard to try and peel just small portions of it. So, let's see. i got to keep reminding myself how this is going to look. So, the tail will come down. Then, actually, I might need a bit more tail. So, maybe if I add this to it maybe if I add this to it like this which is a piece I actually trimmed off and then add that actually looks pretty saucy so let's try that trim off a little piece here then I'm gonna put some glue here and I'm gonna see if this will glue to it let's reinforce it a little bit Try to get some on the other side. Also got a little space up here that didn't quite uh, cover properly. 
gonna go ahead and add another layer. Not looking half bad, guys. All right. The reason I'm trying to dry it so well is because it's looking real nice and smooth on this side, and I don't want to risk messing that up over there. So let's flip this over. If you see there, it's actually not not even on both sides. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit more on the other side alright so now that we have this basic shape here I do want to trim off a little bit off the bottom because I kind of want to give the shrimp that sort of curve that it has for its tail I'm probably gonna segment this last part and uh, that's where the rope is gonna come in play there so I'm gonna go ahead and glue the tail to it Let's add a little sauce to it all right so I need this to dry now all right we're just about dry there guys Let's see if we can take this off but I'd say it's not actually looking half bad. Granted, I've never seen a shrimp that looks like that, but let's start trimming some of this excess. I want to trim off some of this side. Alright, so there's the outcome of that. Profile slowly getting there. I'm going to try to cut off a little bit more, but I guess I'm thinking maybe maybe curve this up a little bit more I really hope I'm not messing this up alright so there's what we got so far guys alright so I'm gonna cut this down so it, it kinda gives it some flexibility but I gotta be this is sort of a risk just because if I cut all the way through I mean I guess I could always glue it back but I don't really want to have to deal with all that so alright so that gives it some flexibility there do another one some tough glue. Alright, so now that does make it more prone to coming apart, but that's where the string comes in. Alright, so took a little piece of this cord and I'm going to try to glue it over the spine. That way we have that flexibility, but also that string will hold the pieces together just in case. You know, fish tend to bite the appendages that are hanging off, so... But, it will give it a little bit more flexibility to this very stiff sort of uh, bait here. It can actually move more if I cut off a piece here. I really hope I don't cut wrong and end up cutting an enormous piece off of it. Okay. So, there we go. I cut off this piece, so now we have even we have even more flexibility. Let's try and see if we can glue this piece of rope here. I actually just made a big no-no. So as you can see here, the uh, toe is actually coming apart. And that's because the hot glue actually melted the glue that was already there. And now it's kind of coming apart. But we're learning, we're learning. So. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so let's just dry this. Okay, that's pretty firm. So this rope is basically just here to kind of give it some more strength. That way, if something does bite, it won't necessarily pull off. Oh, took the whole thing with me. It won't necessarily pull off the tail. So. Alright, so I just trimmed it off. And now this rope is running along the back. And hopefully that will strengthen it a little bit more. And there you go. That's the tail part of it. We got the basic body of the shrimp. We're going to try to add, let's see, what should we add here? I'm thinking maybe the eyes. And I'm actually going to try to use a piece from here. So this is a more solid piece. 
We're gonna cut it off right there. All right. So there's that. Let's make this straight here. Now we're gonna split this in half. So now we got two pieces here. Now this where these beads come and play. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's glue down two spots here. Let's put these beads in. We add some sauce to it. Might as well just add some sauce on there. Just a little bit. You don't want it too saucy. Let's stick these right here. And then this one right here. Alright, so now that we have that, we can trim off the extra. Alright, so there are the eyes, guys. Put some of these, just wedge this in between. And let's put this right in there. Alright, basically now I gotta wait for this to dry. Let's see if I can go ahead and put this one on here too. I think the eyes come out pretty good actually. There's that. Now all we're really missing now is just the legs. Just glue one right here. Now this is not going to be accurate as far as what shrimp really look like, but um, it'll be close enough. So there's the first two legs right there. As you can see, that's looking pretty juicy right there. Let's set this one in. I want to hold this one up a little bit just so I can make sure it doesn't, it doesn't lean against the other one. I want to put that right there. I'm not even gonna lie, this looks this looks really good. The only other thing we could do here would be, I mean, might as well, right? Either go all out or go home. And all this is gonna be is just that one or two antennas that it has on its, on the front of its head. All right, so let's dry these out, get these on the head, and we should be done, guys. Set a drop right there. Let's put one of these. Oh, that looks sick. Alright, so I'm just gonna let these antenna dry. I think we're gonna be done, guys. Alright, so I'm just gonna trim off a little bit. And I really hope I don't ruin this. Alright. That's it, guys. I'm actually. I'm actually really surprised how well this came out. I mean, we, we got the little beady eyes. Considering I've never done this before, we got, you know, the action on the tail. Obviously, it's not super good, you know. It's a little stiff, but, I mean, we got some action there. We got the antenna here. We got some eyeballs here. We got the little, um, the loop for you to tie on there. You know, the hook's in a good position. We got the, uh, the shrimp legs here. Overall guys, I'm I'm actually uh, pretty happy with this. That's definitely something I would definitely throw out there to try to catch something. So I'm definitely excited to try this. But I mean, I think that looks pretty good. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this challenge. Um, I'm really surprised with how well this came out. I am gonna clean it off a little bit because the hog glue gun leaves little strings, but it came out really good. I'm not mad at it. And uh, I'm definitely going to make another video where I try this lure out. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really enjoyed doing this. It was a lot of fun. Shout out to Golden Creations for coming out with this YouTube crossover challenge. Make sure if you try or attempt to do the challenge, make sure you hashtag YouTube crossover. Um, check out Golden Creations. I'll leave the link in the bottom. 
and uh, if you like this video make sure you like the video and if you'd like to see more make sure you subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next episode tight lines